and welcome to another episode of The Accountant's Angle. I'm Kylie Arnold, a product marketing accounting manager here at Least Query. That's just a long title that means I'm using my accounting experience over 20 plus years to assist our marketing department with promoting Least Query's accounting products. I'm here with my colleague, Shannon Matthews. How are you today, Shannon? I'm doing great. Thank you. I'm super excited to join you today. So before we start in the podcast, I'll go ahead and give a super quick background on myself. As you said, I'm Shannon Matthews, the Marketing Communications Manager here at Least Query. I've spent over a decade in marketing and public relations, focusing specifically on B2B software. So that's anything from supply chain to ERP, and then of course, accounting and financial tech. So thanks for having me. Glad you could be here. Welcome, and I know we get to talk about these reports quite a bit, but this one is our annual accountant survey with top challenges and tech wish lists as well. So if you haven't had a chance to read it yet, you can find a link in the show notes or a copy at leastquery.com in our resources section. This, however, is a new report for us. So Shannon, can you tell us a little bit about what this report is and what makes it new? Sure. So... This year, we surveyed more than 200 accounting professionals, and instead of focusing specifically on lease accounting like we have in the past reports, uh, we decided to take a more broad look at technology for accountants overall. And we asked specifically about the technology they're using today, and then what problems they're looking to solve with that technology or with other technology in the future. So overall, we found that accountants had three main goals when they're uh, looking for technology. They wanted to gain efficiencies, optimize workflows, and provide more value to their clients. And then overall, the main push to invest in technology is driven by a need for increased accuracy and compliance within many of the new accounting standards that we're seeing. Interesting. So I was curious about the accounting industry's response to applications and data moving to the cloud since the data integrity is always a big concern for financial reporting and accounting. What did the survey respondents say about where they're at with their own shifts to the cloud? Yeah, so we asked about their current technology maturity and then, as you said, where accounting teams and firms are at the uh, at their cloud adoption. And we found that nearly two out of three said that they are developing or behind with their technology journey overall. And then when it comes to cloud adoption specifically, it was pretty evenly spread out. So 38% said their data was fully in the cloud. And then 35% said they are in the process of migrating to the cloud and that other 27% are not currently transitioning to the cloud yet. So it's also important to note here that 12 out of the 27% said they actually have no plans to move to the cloud at all, which definitely puts them at risk for falling behind or really losing their data altogether. Yes, you bet. Especially if COVID taught us anything, you have to be able to work from all different areas with all different things going on, right? Um, So anyway, one of the big wish list items appears to be automation. It's also a big buzzword these days. It can actually address those three main goals of gaining efficiencies, optimizing workflows, and providing more value to clients altogether. What can you tell us about what the respondents are looking for in automation. Yep, so you are correct. Now, before we get into automation though, I will say accountants are using technology to support a lot of things. And the top three that we found in our survey being expenses, financial reporting, and billing. And then they're also using tech to facilitate month-end close, lease accounting, inventory, and auditing. But on to automation, since that's really what you asked about here. So it's definitely at the top of the wish list. And throughout our research, we found that overall accounting accountants are looking for automation to streamline several processes with 60% saying data entry. also said reconciliation, and 49% want to automate data analysis. Then we also had billing or invoicing, time tracking and reporting, and client onboarding on the automation wish list as well. Now, as accountants' roles become more analytical and clients request new services, faster reports, and more insights, 
Automation is definitely a critical strategy to meeting those needs. So it also plays a big role in, of course, reducing, if not removing, the potential for human mistakes like typos and keying errors, which we all know when working with financial information is not, not the best thing to have. So we definitely want to use automation to remove the potential for those mistakes. Now, the last thing I want to say about automation before I turn this around on you, Kylie, and ask a couple questions is that according to a Gartner survey that we found while writing this report, we actually learned that 98% of CFOs say they will not be cutting tech investments and they'll actually invest further in automation to reduce costs and increase efficiency. So automation remains at the top of the tech wish list, and I think it will for a while, especially as we see all of these new standards come into place and also just we're able to use automation to really make sure everything stays accurate. So Kylie, I have a question, well, kind of a two-part question for you before we wrap up today's podcast. Now, I can talk about technology from a marketing perspective all day, but I don't have obviously the accounting background that you do. So Tell me as an accountant, what processes would you like to see automated? And also what else is on your accounting technology wish list? Sure. So my experiences were mostly in the controllership with closing and financial reporting. And I would say that some of the low hanging fruit when it comes to automating accounting in that area is definitely within month end close. There are many, many, many repetitive tasks. Every organization definitely has its share of monotonous reporting, just clicking a button and pulling the same information down from the GO, and constant journal entries that either are the same number every period, every month, every quarter, or pulling the same information from the report every month or every quarter. And these usually have to be performed to complete the close process, like I said, every month, every period, every quarter, however often you do your clothes. And so in my previous roles, we were always looking for ways to automate these steps, you know, automating them in Excel. And then, you know, as things advanced more automating them in some of our general ledger or ERP accounting, and then further down the road in, you know, more complex um, technology that was offered. And I would say um, automating these things that required like little to no brain power was what we always wanted to do so that we could spend more time on real issues, like reviewing the results of, you know, the clothes that had come out to identify any potential concerns, or then also like looking into those accounts that have anomalies or don't look the same as trend to, you know, research or do any adjustments that we had to, you know, we're talking about automation and technology allowing you to do more with little. So, you know, this is a perfect example of get all the close stuff out of the way so that you can actually spend time on the the actual report results explaining those to management or you know any of your stakeholders awesome this is that was really great insight uh is there anything else you'd like to add yeah sure so outside of month and close i'm i'm starting to see and it's actually really cool to see advances that are being made in some of the more complex accounting areas like lease accounting so the current standard updates, I think, really open the door for organizations to lean into automation with tools such as Lease Query. So Lease Query allowed organizations to automate some of the mundane tasks like lease data entry and some of the repetitive and monthly journal entries. You know, an organization using Lease Query or any of the like solutions out there, you enter um, some of the high level information about your lease from the lease contract, and then it can spit out your amortization tables, it can spit out your reports, um, it'll spit out any of your journal entries from those amortization tables. So you don't have to do anything in that process, it's all automated for you. But then it takes it to the next level and actually, you know, some of these solutions like Lease Query are able to actually do some of the more complex calculations and accounting and journal entries for you in the terms of like modifications or partial terminations, you know, so all of that stuff is built into the system um, to be compliant when you do those types of transactions. And again, it's another thing that people don't have to waste their time on. They can spend time, uh, you know, doing more complex transactions possibly. 
Um, so I'm actually really excited looking forward to what other complex accounting issues are going to be able to be solved by technology into the future. Awesome. Thank you, Kylie. I agree. Definitely interested in learning more about how accountants are going to, going to use tech in the future to help their everyday needs. Well, that concludes today's episode of The Accountant's Angle. Please don't forget to download our top challenges and tech wishlist report. And as Kylie said at the beginning, you can find that report link either in our show notes or on our website at leastquery.com under the resources tab. And also be on the lookout for future episodes of the podcast. Thank you for tuning in.